Neighbors living near this Highland Park Strip Club have complained for years about the illegal activity they felt was going on inside. Well, today, Highland Park Police and Wayne County Sheriff's deputies did something about it. They raided the place and put a padlock on the door. Jason Colthorpe following this for us, uh, but not quite shut down for good, I guess, Jason. No, but it'll be uh, out of business for six months, Devin, which makes that billboard over my shoulder pretty much uh, a false advertisement for right now. And while the owners and the employees of the Deja Vu nightclub here are probably disappointed, neighbors here couldn't be happier. Police shutting down the Deja Vu nightclub on Woodward. First, searching the building and then locking it up for the next six months per a court order. Highland Park police tell me a sting in December uncovered all sorts of violations, including strippers selling sex to customers, alcohol, drugs, and smoking. The club was raided in 2014 and has twice violated a consent agreement with the city. Weekends is nonstop drama. Neighbors have been fed up with the club that cops say was often over capacity. Cars parked where they're not supposed to be parked. A lot of break ins over here around the time that they're open, so it's definitely going to be a good look to have them gone. So. This neighbor agrees with shutting it down, but she worries about the girls with families to support since she herself was a dancer some 30 plus years ago. I didn't like it, but I sure. said, well, the show must go on. I had to keep on doing what I had to do. And then when I came to a conclusion that that life was not for me because it was too detrimental for me, it was dangerous. It was drugs, prostitutes, pimps, all that was around. Faith, as she'd like us to call her, just hopes the dancers use this interruption of business as a way to get out of the club and back into the classroom like she did. Well, don't give up and go to another place and start over again because they're going to age out. You know what I'm saying? As you age out, who want to look, you know, they age out. So we have to be better prepared to come out of that line of work. So the club here going to be out of business until November 9th. Uh, whether the owners will have to get involved in another consent agreement with the city or go through any sort of hoops before they can open up is still unknown. Reporting live in Highland Park today, Jason Coulter, Local 4. Well, those are some great reflections from somebody who knows the business and has been there. Uh, Jason, so it's a six-month shutdown. What happens if they open it up and then we're back to problems again? Good question. It could be uh, a year-long penalty, I'm told, by police, or it could be shut down permanently. A lot of the neighbors here uh, would hope that in this time period they have, this six months, maybe someone will step in and yeah. put them out of business permanently. Yeah. All right, Jason.